here's the idea. Is we got a, we got a studio, right? Alright. Okay. We got a studio. And since the movies haven't been invented yet. There's no movies. No, there's no movies at all. But we can invent the movie. Yeah, we can invent the movie. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take pictures, we're gonna put them together, and they're gonna sequentially go really fast. And what they're gonna do is 24 frames per second. They're gonna go boom, 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 boom. And we're gonna see people and it's gonna look like they're moving. We're gonna trick the eye, we're gonna trick the mind, we're gonna trick the optical nerve. Hey boys! Hey! Are you guys going to Carnival or what? Improv is where you don't think. And it just comes to you like that. I actually got the divorce right here. I divorce paper here. Yeah. No. I know. And probably like to say yes to any offer that sort of comes at you. Because if you say no, scene stops. But if you can say yes, when the person comes in as a character, you're saying, that's what I'm like too. Whatever you had pre-established, you sort of just let it fade away and you gather in this new person and all their new energy and what they've got and their idea. And then comes the, the camaraderie of it all, where you're all just doing the same thing and you're three people just hanging out in the same space, being the same person. And they were like, yeah, no, no, no. So the, where, where you want him to be like, yeah. hey, hey, hey. I look up to him for improv. I look up for him. Uh, I want to be as calm as Adam one day. You know what? I love making people laugh. I love it more than money. And money is not that important to me, actually. And the fact that he can do it, I think he's very proud of himself because he's had a lot of limitations. And it's a gift that he has. Oh, God, that's <laughs> In November 1995, uh, Michael and I were involved in a motor vehicle accident. And they started working on Michael immediately because he expired twice and they had to bring him back to life. I have a brain injury myself, which is much less severe than Michael. And in my line of thinking, it was that the brain injury would repair itself and we would get back to a normal life. One time in the car, I remember my mom telling me this. I said, hey, look, there's God. And she said, where? And I said, there, there, there. There was a time where I was very suicidal and I, Actually, Tom helped me out here when I had a knife to my throat. I wanted the prize faster, so I was willing to kill myself to get it. But I don't believe that's the way to heaven, because God gave you this life for a reason. Hey, Adam, how are you doing? You're doing an interview. <laughs> oh, yeah, OK. Mike doesn't use the term support worker at all, and I wouldn't either. He suggests something, we do it. But I also will say, hey Mike, why don't we do this? And he'll be like, yeah, sure. So sometimes we'll wrestle. Sometimes we'll shoot Nerf guns in the yard. Sometimes we'll do improv. Sometimes we'll play a video game. Sometimes we just chill and watch The Vampire Diaries. That was his suggestion. But I also got him to watch Firefly, which was my suggestion. So we share those things. Adam is very compassionate. He's a, a very um, loving type guy himself. I like food. You like food? I like sushi. I like sushi. It's true. So shall we do sushi now, Mike? I don't know. It's not sex. We do have the support in our life, which is like family to me, and I and I don't know what I would do without them. Your mom was reaching for a story, so I could save that. <laughs> it is also someone to share the happy moments with. I mean, I'm, I think they get as much joy out of seeing um, some of the accomplishments. Tom over here, he's the man. He taught me everything I knew about girls. Everything. 21. Damn it! Anybody? Sorry. Nope. Anybody else? Sorry. The house has a real rhythm to it. It has a very good energy to it. It's very harmonious. Everything sort of works and fits like a glove. We know what we're doing. We know where we're going. I know far better how to handle certain situations. It's been a growing process. I don't think I would have been here the way I am today without this. I support Mike five days a week during the day, drive him where he needs to get driven, help him run errands. From there, just hang out, play games, have fun. Uh, and keep him in line when he's, you know, being a jerk like this morning. <laughs> Too 
take Monopoly. One say sorry. It's not hard. Yep. Pick another retarded kid. Yep. Once a child gets to a certain age and they're out of the school system, there is nothing left. So what I did after everything was done is I developed my own social program, and it's a drop-in program for people like Michael to come and drop in. You remember Big Booty? Guys. I do remember Big Booty. Okay. Number one. Number two. Big, big booty, booty, big booty, big, big booty. booty. Big booty number two. Number two, big booty. Big booty number two. Number two, big booty. Big booty number two. Number two, number one. <laughs> number one, big booty. I like to express myself even though other people might not want me to express myself. Your laugh is so excellent that I could get any girl. Whoa! Eventually, I didn't really care what other people thought of me, so I kept doing what I wanted to do. This compliment is Mike's game. You look so good, you don't even need a girl! Whoa! He likes to talk trash and do all the kind of gangster hip-hop things, but he doesn't want it to be insulting or mean. It's phenomenal. He loves to listen to, like, hip-hop music. You know, they they got nice beats and they got their lyrics, but they're sometimes some vicious lyrics and Mike wants to sort those out so he'll go along with it and he'll sing it and he'll be right into it and then he'll be like yeah but you know what that's not that's not a nice thing to say so what if we changed it to and then he just sort of changes it to something that's just like it's like this g-rated gangster rap nobody's average everyone is different if everyone was the same, it would be boring, wouldn't it? If everyone was funny, I would try not to be funny, to be different. Whether you have a brain injury or whether you have any other type of um, limitation in your life, you still want to be part of society. There's a lot of people out there who are in need who don't get noticed. Life has just begun. That is a secret of the Secret Service. Do not tell him where we are driving. Oh, what are you saying? You have we a... are not driving the car. Cross my legs. 